Hi, in this video I will show you how to download and install the Arduino, the latest Arduino IDE, which currently is version 2 from the Arduino CC website, and how to add support for the ESP32 development board and test some boards to check that everything is fine. So, the first thing we have to do is open our browser, go to navigate to arduino.cc, software, and here you can find the latest version. You can download the right one for your operating system which in my case is Windows 10 64-bit so I will download it from here you can add uh, you can contribute some dollars to the Arduino ID if you want now I will just download it's not necessary to contribute to download the software and now as you see our download is on the way it won't take long it's almost here okay it's ready so go to the downloads open file I agree you can select if you want everyone in your PC to be able to use the ID or just you I will use my account here it's a quick process we don't need to wait for a long time As I'm waiting, I will open a new tab just to be ready for a later step. You can also use uh, older Arduino versions like the 1.8 uh, series of uh, versions. It also work. You can also work uh, with ESP32 on this uh, version. It seems that the setup process is longer, takes longer than the download. By the way, I have three ESP development boards with me right now. I will show you. This is an older version, the ESP32. DevKit version 1, the first version that came out and this is the ESP32 DevKit version 4 which is uh, newer and if you notice it has more pins than the old one and this is another variant this one is also an ESP32 development board, but it is a Node MCU board, which is a different implementation. It has the same number of pins with the previous one. Okay, our Arduino uh, setup is ready. Leave run Arduino ID checked. And now let's see. You can notice, since we're waiting, that 
uh, the icon of the newer Arduino ID is a little bit different from the older version. This is a 1.8 uh, version of Arduino ID I had already installed in my computer and this is the newest one. Okay, skip the antivirus. It seems like it takes too much time. Perhaps there is some problem here. Uh, I will try to stop the process and again execute the Arduino ID, but this time as an administrator. yes so if you experience the same problem like me you can stop you can close the window and rerun it as an administrator you should answer also to install additional uh, software that the ID asks you to you see that it has downloaded some uh, libraries and installed them and I think we're ready now but as you can see here there is no board selected since we want to add support for uh, ESP32 development boards the first thing that one uh, should do is go to tools menu board board manager and try to see if there is something about uh, ESP32 perhaps in the future support will be added but right now as you can see there's nothing about ESP32 boards so in that case we need to find uh, where to download support for the ESP32 boards so you can open your browser and Google ESP32 support Arduino ID one of the first hits I'm opening here and what I need is this line over here that I have to add by copying it to the preferences uh, tab of Arduino idea under the additional board manager URLs so I'm going here back to my Arduino ID preferences this is the additional board manager URLs there's nothing currently here because we have just set up the Arduino ID and I paste the line I copied press OK and now you see it was really fast that 
Since I haven't changed my search in the Boards Manager about ESP32, now I have the choice to install support for ESP32 by Espressive Systems, which is what I will do right now. So as you see, the download of the packages has started. We have to wait a little bit. Uh, since we're waiting for the setup of uh, these packages, I need to tell you that uh, the ESP32 development boards come with different chips for uh, USB communication. That means that, for example, this board here You see that it has a small square chip at this point. This square chip is uh, about communicating between the ESP32 and your computer. But in this board over here, the responsible chip is different has a different shape. That's because it is a different chip. Actually, if you go and Google, for example, ESP32 USB chips, you see that in the first hit that, we, that comes out, talks about the USB to UART bridge chips and it gives you uh, the following uh, choices FTDI which is one of uh, the available chips from Future Technology Device International the Scilabs which uh, uses the CP210X USB to UART bridge virtual communication port and the WCH, with his, which is a Chinese uh, chip, uh, this is usually the CH340 or 41 chip. For example, the, l the first one that I showed you, the one that has the C the, the square chip, for the USB UART bridge, it is the Scilabs version, it is the CP2102, while this one, which has this orthogonal chip with lots of uh, pins, is the CH3340. That means that if your board is not recognized from Arduino, you have to download the drivers for it and in this uh, page that I showed you uh, you can press see more and go to the page that downloads the corresponding drivers for your device usually the FTDI uh, case does not need any drivers but if uh, you need to download it here you can find them here is where you can find them. So let's see. The whole platform about TSP32 is installed very, very well. Let's try one of these now. Now, uh, before going on, uh, we should try and see if uh, we can run the Arduino ID as a normal user not only as an administration an administrator so i'm closing this up and reopen it not as administrator but with a single double click if i go notice that the background here is white this is difference between the administrator running as an administrator or running as a single uh, a simple user but you see that if I go to board and board manager, 
I can't see the ESP32 option. That is because the preferences for a simple user did not uh, use the preferences that I used when I run the application as an administrator. So right now I will recopy the line about ESP32 support here and go again to the board manager to download the ESP32 environment. This is only for the first time that you run the Arduino ID either as an administrator or as a simple user that you have to install uh, the packages but it's not a good idea to use the administrator mode so that's why I rerun the application as a normal user corresponding files are downloading for the Arduino ESP32 support supporting ESP32 on the Arduino ID uh, we will try now a simple code to test our development boards and the simplest code that uh, we can use is the Blink program. The Blink sketches the Blink code, just uh, blinks uh, the onboard LED that uh, comes with most of the development boards. In this uh, point, I have to say that from the three ESP32 that I earlier showed you, one of them and this one is this, the ESP32 dev kit version 4 does not have an onboard LED so I can't test my blink code on this that's because this uh, specific board only has a power LED which is here at this point it does not have any other LEDs attached on the board. On the contrary, the dev kit version 1 has two LEDs. One is here and the other at this point. One is to show that the board is powered up and the other is the onboard LED. Same stands for this um, Node MCU ESP32 which is version 1.3 again there are two LEDs at this point so I will test my uh, boards the two of the three boards with a blink program to show uh, that it works right since you can see at the bottom that the platform is installed before uh, connecting my ESP to the laptop or your PC, you have to go to tools and check the ports, the available serial ports. You see that right now my laptop uh, shows uh, COM3 and COM4 ports before I repeat connecting my ESP32. So, if I use this micro USB cable to connect my ESP32 you see the red LED that shows that my board is powered up if I go to tools port I see COM6 this is a new port that means that the drivers for the USB to UART uh, bridge are already installed in my PC uh, if your system does not show a 
USB, a, a new COM port at this point when you plug your uh, board then that means that you need to install the USB to UART drivers that I mentioned earlier so if you don't see a new COM port when you connect the board you have to come here select the appropriate chip that comes with your board and install the drivers so that you can see the COM port when you're connecting your board right now I have connected my old ESP32 dev kit version 1 which has two uh, LEDs on board and now I will write the simplest code that uh, blinks the onboard LED I will go to file examples take one of the built-in examples the blink for example uh, the blink code is uh, standard code for Arduino boards but we can use it also with the ESP32 uh, the form of the code is general it says that there is a LED built-in in the board which in the case of Arduino it is known from the header files that uh, are part of the Arduino support in this ID but here for the ESP32 we have to tell explicitly in which pin the LED built-in is so I will define LED built-in and I will say it's pin number 2 I know it because I know the pin out of my ESP32 development board if your board has its LED its built-in LED in another pin then you should check first your pin out uh, to be sure which number you should write here but the majority of the ESP32 boards that have a built-in LED have connected it, have it connected in pin number two so I write two here and my code is ready to run but first you see down there that it says no board selected we haven't selected the board the target board so we go to tools board after we, we install the support for ESP32 you see the ESP32 here option and there are lots of ESP32 uh, modules the one that I'm using right now is ESP32 dev module so I select it uh, the port I will select port COM6 as I earlier told you the way that I found that it is in COM6 and now we are ready first, is, first step is to compile the code to check that there is no uh, error in my code I press this check uh, button and it's verifying the code it's compiling it and searches for errors there's a progress bar down there you see it going left to right there is no problem with the compilation and then I have to download it to to upload it's the correct uh, phrase to upload I need to press this one this uh, icon here but first I need to tell you that there are some boards that after you press the upload button they recompile the code and try to upload it and with no other action from your part upload the code to the board but most ESP32 boards most need need you to 
press this button over here which says boot I hope that you can see it this is the boot tact switch when you see that the code is ready to download how will you tell if it's ready to download look I'm pressing the upload button it recompiles the sketch so after a short time you won't need to verify the code you will go directly to upload and when you see those dots down there that saying connecting and dots are coming it the IDE expects you to press the boot uh, button on the dev board shortly if you don't do it then you will see that a fatal error occurred that means nothing was downloaded to your board so I will do it again but this time when I see the dots coming I'm expecting them I will press here it is I'm pressing shortly the boot button it didn't work once again once again it didn't work sometimes it doesn't it's not a usual phenomenon let's try once more actually this is my oldest uh, board I believe this is the reason yes I pressed it correct dots stopped and the program is downloaded to the ESP32 and now you see that the blue LED is blinking one second is on and one second is off continuously that's the blink program 